Okay, you guys, let's take a look inside the old forge, the original forge. This is the way that I used to forge you guys years ago. You just see those holes right there, and that's where the air comes up through, and then, then of course, I'd have my fire, you know, built right over top of that. This guy's just consumed way too much fuel. You know, I had this whole area. That's what I've been forging in, you guys, when you see me forge. Only thing is that this right here was not in there. I was forging down inside this pot right here. And my buddy, uh, Jack Morant, forged his tomahawk in this pot right here. Now, this works really good, you guys, for knives and short, short items. But when you try to heat up something that's very long, like you want to heat the center of this rod up, you can't get the center of the rod into the fire the way you want to. Unless you build a heaping, just a huge pile of coal up at it, and that would burn up almost a bucket of coal. All right, you guys, this right here is a piece of two-inch pipe. I cut it. Then I had to drill, had to uh, drill a hole in the back of it or cut a big hole in the back of it so that I could make that T that you see right there. You see how I did that? Now I've raised this forge uh, air hole up to almost the top of this pot right here. And there's where the air is going to come in it. Now what I'm going to do on the inside, guys, is cut a hole so that this will sit right down in it. Then you'll get the get your full volume of air going through here. Now you guys, you can take a jigsaw with a metal cutting blade on it. And you can cut that thin metal. Really good airflow too. Okay, you guys, for the front of this, we're going to use stone. Don't look too bad, you guys. Now, you guys, we're ready to <clears throat> Put some mortar in there and mortar in some rocks. Okay, you all, I'll mortar in the stones now. Now you can do the...
Okay, you guys, that's what it looks like now. <clears throat> I'm going to leave the bed of this forge bottom right here just a little bit lower, you guys, than the airstream. That'll keep it from uh, cracking a whole lot quicker if I bring it all the way up to right there on the edge. But now I'll, go, I'll have to let that cure and set up, and then we'll come back and take another look at it. Okay, you guys, that's what it looks like. Now I'll be able to forge something, you know, as, as long if I want to forge that piece of stuff and, and I need to heat it up back to here you guys I can I can do that the other way I was just really short there so that's what that looks like now down here I carried in a couple of six inch thick rocks you guys and that's to make the forge deeper if I want to I'll just lay them up in there alongside that fire pit and just put the coal in there okay you guys that's what it looks like now so you'll see me forging this thing in this thing here in a couple of weeks i'll have to let it set up right there and let that stuff cure before i can do any forging in it but i've all i've got this old hand forge here if i need to really forge something i can take it outside there and uh, forge with it anyway guys until next time god bless you have yourself a great day